This was one of the most surprising findings to me writing the book because I didn't go in looking for people who had social disconnectedness or a sense of separateness. I, that wasn't part of my screening criteria. And then over and over and over again, I would hear the same kinds of quotes. Like Elon Musk, Nikola Tesla, and Albert Einstein almost all said exactly the same words in that they said, I love humanity, but not people so much. <laughs> so they all, they all said that, right? And all of these people exhibited um, some form of social deta detachment or disconnectedness where they either felt like they didn't belong or they felt like the rules that govern other people just didn't apply to them. So Steve Jobs is a great example of that because he didn't put a license plate on his car. He often didn't wear shoes. He didn't wear deodorant. He didn't shower very much. So he often smelled, but he didn't believe that he smelled because he was fruitarian. And he would stare at people very intensely without blinking. He just violated lots of social rules because he thought that those were just made up rules and they didn't apply to him. But that exact same concept is how he was able to exert what's known as his reality distortion field. And that he could tell people to do something that other people thought was impossible. And he would have such conviction that it was possible that they would end up doing it. They would make the impossible possible. Uh, and so, so it's fascinating. Even Elon Musk. So I think Elon Musk, people think of him, they assume that he's probably kind of a playboy because they've heard that the Tony Stark character in mm -hmm. Iron Man is modeled after him, which is true. John Favreau did model uh, the Tony Stark character after Elon Musk. But his personality could not be more different from Tony Stark's in the movie because Elon Musk grew up as a really small child, first of all, smaller than his peers, even though he's big now. But he was small when he was a kid and super nerdy and really bullied at school, like mercilessly bullied, one time beaten almost unconscious, oh, and uh, also had a very introspective nature where he would just gaze into space, so much so that his family at one point thought he was deaf, and they went and had him tested to make sure he wasn't deaf, which is interesting because people also thought that Albert Einstein was deaf, and Thomas Edison actually was deaf. So this separateness could be manifest in a variety of ways, but this feeling disconnected. Um, but he escaped into books, and he read books, and he taught himself, and he was clearly brilliant, and you know, sold his first software game at the age of 12, and then started a software company in college, and then you probably know the rest of the history on that one. Oh, but kids, you mentioned kids. Mm -hmm. One of the things this research did was completely change some of my parenting. Like I realized uh, that even I needed to change my parenting, because one of the things these people all benefited from is thinking and writing and reading alone and forming their own beliefs about how the world works. And kids need that time. 